morning. Um, I've just spent a few hours um, putting together a series of uh, uh, tabs and um, it's kind of apparent when listening to people talking about uh, the alleged climate crisis uh, that much of it is coming from an emotional place um, uh, and you know instinctively we know when something's wrong with uh, you know what's happening in our communities and what's happening in the world generally certainly if you watch the television and see the uh, you know the evening news um, you know one would think that everything was going to hell and back um, but what I wanted to do was actually take a more sort of um, pedagogic look, if you like, at the you know the science and the shorthand. Now, all the emotional stuff. There's definitely a, a shorthand in narratives, um, and those are descriptive narratives and storytelling, which the climate uh, educators tell us is very important because we don't understand. Uh, this difficult stuff that the experts do. So this video is about the difficult stuff that the experts uh, use. Now, um, the analogue I like for this is um, when the King James uh, Bible was first published in English um, at around the same time as Gutenberg invented the printing press, etc. Um, the church at the time, uh, because hence two, four uh, Bibles were actually um, in Latin and most people couldn't read and write anyway um, and so what was actually handed down regarding got the Gospels the Bible etc was an interpretation from a priest um, who would um, uh, deliver you uh, uh, deliver mass and what have you in in Latin um, and um, mumbo jumbo uh, comes from that because it corresponds to a latin phrase which s sounds roughly um, phonetically like mumbo jumbo i won't go into that you can look that up um, uh, so anyway le let's just work through the slides this is kind of part four now um, i posted a slide uh, presentation from dr jeffrey glassman uh, which talks about the scientific mod um, method of modeling uh, next, then I uh, um, uh, did a video, the climate distinction, going through some aspects of um, this idea that there's a climate crisis. Um, and then I did an, a, a, another one yesterday. So, um, and this is the next in that series. Now, this is where I actually produce my writing um, and uh, the extinction distinction if I just click on this here um, the previous two talks I did a transcript which I've dumped into uh, Readsy here uh, which I'm going to be producing um, a, a small book for which um, I'm likely to produce that and put it online um, as a as a paid for download and obviously the videos are free and all the rest of it but i'm in the middle of building a web 3 publishing portal um so anyway those two talks are in part one and part two in here already and i'm just uh right okay so uh, w what I've done is, is, is I've been turning those videos into a, a fictionalised account of them and at this I'm in the middle of this at the moment and uh, um, this, uh, this novel to prize for falsification of scientific paradigms and I, I've sort of introduced the, the, the video stream. A greying middle-aged man in a curious t-shirt looks forlornly into the 30-inch Mac screen in his den in rural Sweden. The t-shirt reads, everyone get back, it's an arsehole. Running Linux on his 13-year-old Mac, which no longer can run the latest OXX, a phenomenal array of computing power surrounds him. He is nervous. Long nights of coding and hacking to evade the cyber cops could be blown if he reveals too much, but the minds of a younger generation needed to know the knowledge he would now be broadcasting. Um, I mean, that's... 
um, what I'm trying to do is actually uh, tell a story um, about uh, science and maths. I mean, I love science and maths and statistics. I mean, I, I'm a very analytical individual and I find these things, um, I find them entertaining. Um, and I just described the room I'm sat in and the phenomenal array of computing power um, is, uh, well, it's all around me. I'm not going to do a, a, a scan around the, the room. I'll, I'll, post some, I'll post some pictures in, in the blog that will accompany this post of my phenomenal array of computing power. Uh, so, where are we up to? Roger's long-haired blog, and you can, you know, search it um, in the search box. And I'm going to work through these slides, and um, some sort of shape will emerge from this into an essay. Now, this is a post that I did in November 2016. Um, and it is entitled um, Climate Change, AGW and All Points from Activism to Skepticism. Um, and it's a very, it, 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 all the links in it work. The ones that um, don't do usually reference the Wayback Machine, depending what you have installed in your own browser. There is a browser a, um, extension you can put in Chrome for the Wayback Machine. Um, it's this one. I, I haven't got that part of my screen actually in the screen capture. Um, but that opens and uh, uh, it opens a PDF. It's completely free. It's um, a shareable link. Um, and um, it's a collection of, uh, you know, different writing, some poems. <coughs> and it goes through the basis of um, climatology and what we know about um, the climate system really um, and the reason I opened that today is uh, there was a paper in 2009 which falsified the CO2 hypothesis um, and um, we're going to get to that in a minute um, and I've got a couple of other things that I want to show you which have some scientific notation in them. And the scientific notation, I've also got some um, introductory things in, in what those funny little squiggles and Greek letters actually mean, just so you can feel a bit more comfortable about the Latin liturgy that's being delivered by the so-called experts, which is too difficult, allegedly, for your understanding. It isn't difficult. Um, scientific notation and mathematical notation is no different from um, shorthand notation for taking um, dictation in offices as shorthand secretaries or journalists or whatever use. Um, so I'm going to just give you a little bit of that just so you can feel a bit more comfortable about some of the technical stuff which, which is going to be cropping up and, and you can some, spend some time figuring it all out. Um, and this is one of the links that comes up fr from the booklet. Um, and it's called Reconsidering Science, CO2 Figures, Cycle, Solubility, um, GHG, that's Global Green Effect, uh, Oceanic Scale, Biosequestration. Uh, there are a bunch of concepts in here which won't be familiar to you. And if you don't know the names Jarowski or Segelstadt, um, you know, don't don't despair. Um, uh, these things, you know, they are out there. Um, they're just uh, several degrees of separation away in your browser, um, and the Google algorithms uh, try very hard for you not to get to them. But you know, I'm here to help, and the links will well, the links are in that booklet, but they'll also be accompanying this. Uh, and that's the same thing. I'm going to close the ones that are up twice. Uh, right, the CERN cloud experiment, that's what that is. Um, the CERN cloud experiment, um, there are two scientists, um, uh, an Israeli scientist, um, Shaviv, and a Danish scientist uh, by the name of Svensmark. And CERN is the uh, thing that has that very curious opening ceremony for the tunnel and all that sort of thing. Um, it's in Switzerland, and that's the Large Hadron Collider um, people. Uh, well that's I mean, pretty mainstream stuff. 
Um, what's this one now? Um, Hollow Science, the Electric Universe, Global Warming and the Climate of Influence. Now I've referenced Walt Ermho in yesterday's video and this is his essay on um, uh, well the parlous state of uh, postmodern science I guess. Um, and this this is Tom Sagelstad's um, blog um, and Again, this is from a link in the booklet. Uh, forbidden, that's always a good sign. Um, there's an article about Tom on Wikipedia, which has uh, had the Connolly touch, shall we say. Um, scientific skeptics, where they impinge in the global warming alarmist um, creed, if you like, um, do tend and have been you know, abused basically um, with ad hominem attacks and all the rest of it uh, and we'll come to Desmond's blog in a minute um, what else have we got here oh, this is one that was in the Wayback Machine now, uh, just uh, Peterson is, uh, was at Lund University he's retired now um, and this is about the kinetics of atmospheric carbon dioxide where, where he looks into the bomb curves and of course, you know, you get along and pretty soon you, you find um, these functions or equations and what do they mean. We're going to come to come to that in a minute and I'll explain to you um, when confronted with something like that, what, what that's actually, actually saying. Uh, Falsealarm.net, that's another a barred one. What have we got here? Um, you can see as we go through some of the 